Hello, my name is Arnaud Delorme, and this is part 10 of a series of, of uh, presentation on independent component analysis applied to EG time series. This part is about looking at brain uh, components. And so the simplest way to look at brain components is to go to the EG lab menu, components ERP and plot components ERP in rectangular arrays. You can select the components you want to plot and this is the plot you get where you can see the ERP of each of the individual components. So that's already useful, but there's actually more powerful uh, plotting menus in EEG Lab to do that. And uh, so first let's backtrack a little bit so I can present you these menus. Let's go back to channel ERP. So channel ERP, you have a menu to plot channel ERP with scalp topographies and you select the time range you want to plot, you select the scalp topography latency and this is typically what you get. You get the uh, ERP for each channel here represented by a different color and then you get the scalp topography at the latency you've selected. And so here an important distinction is that e.g. the peaks here are sometimes called ERP components so don't, not to be confused with ICA uh, components. And so now we're going to define what we call the data envelope. So we have the data, that's all the channels, so the trace for each of the channel, and what we call the envelope is the mean and the max trace at each latency. So we can define that for channels, but we can also define that for components. So here we have one component, and we have the data envelope in black here, and we have the IC topography, one component, we're just plotting one component here, and then we have the back projected activity of these components into the channel space. And each channel here will have a different trace. All the trace will be proportional, but uh, they'll be of different amplitude. And what we call, we call the IC envelope, the envelope of uh, this trace of components. So you can see that here, uh, for example, these components uh, account for most of uh, the activity of 150 milliseconds but not the activity at other uh, latency. And we can calculate how much it contributes within a, a given time window to the ERP. This is what we call the percentage variance accounted for. So in this case, it's 37%. And the variance uh, PVAF uh, is the variance of scalp EG accounted for by this uh, component. And so let's look at uh, uh, more components. So you, to do that, you go to this menu, Plots, Component ERP with Component Maps. And you'll have a time window, again. You'll have the time window you're interested in for the component contribution. You'll have the number of components you want to plot. And you also have an additional option here to ignore some components, both from the ERP and for the contribution to the ERP. So these are the uh, components you might have labels as artifacts. And so that's useful because even though you might not have removed these components, you can still ignore them uh, here at this point and they'll be removed from the ERP and also not contribute. So this is what's been plotted here. And then we can see that two components pop out here. For example, component number three, seems to account for most of the ERP peak, the first three ones before 300 milliseconds, both the positive and the negative ones, while component 15 needs to account for most of the late ERP after 300 milliseconds. So this is very useful to look at individual subject data and then guide your analysis at the group level. You would look at a couple of subjects and find some regularities, and then you can look at the group level and cluster components and look at cluster of component contribution to the ERP. You can also plot the difference uh, envelope uh, between two conditions. So that's the second menu here, second sub-menu. And uh, um, there is an interface where you can select options, but basically that's what's being plotted and now it plots the difference between two conditions and how different components contribute to the difference within a specific lat latency range. So this was for ERP. Sometimes you don't have stimulus in your data. So sometimes you just want to know the contribution to the spectrum. How much do components contribute to 10 Hertz, for example? So you would use this menu, plot component spectrum and map, 
and you can enter different options. You can enter the frequency you're interested in. I want to know the contribution at 10 Hertz, for example, and the components you want to plot and many different options. And so this is what's being plotted. You can see the scalp topography. So this is the EG power spectrum at 10 Hertz. And you can see which component, component contribute the most to the 10 Hertz activity. These scalp maps here don't look exactly like the scalp map or earpiece because they're squared because we're looking at power here. So we square the scalp topography of, of the components. Uh, let's look at a different frequency. Let's look at 6 Hertz, for example. And uh, now you have the contribution, uh, which component contribute the most to 6 Hertz. And these are very different components, in this case, frontal midline uh, theta rhythm. So thank you for attention and I'll see you in the next video.